Hello gamers, Matt Matt here with uh, Through Gamer Goggles. We have another box breaking. This time it's the Orlock or Nation for Alchemy. This is their starter box. We're not going to waste that much time. We're going to go right ahead and get in. Inside we find the rule book. Pretty nice rule book. If you've uh, already seen a couple of our other demos, it is the same rule book. It's an English rule book. This is uh, basically a quick start rule book because the other day I took a look at the rule book that's on the uh, Studio 38 website for download, and that rule book is a complete rule book at 131 pages. Every starter comes with the tokens you need to play the game. The markers, I should say, not really tokens. Every starter and every squad of troops or individual figure comes with these these cards, which we'll get into more detail at a later date. For example, this is uh, the Toad Medicine Shaman's card. His special abilities are here. This is, means various different things. This is how this plays an effect in combat. This is their basic abilities, and we'll go into detail at a later date because each one of those symbols has a different meaning. And we're not gonna waste the time here while we're looking at the product, and you come up with uh, basically your combat cards. Every starter has a 19 inch ruler. The appropriate number of bases individually, well, not they're not individually wrapped, but they're wrapped separately from the fix. The dice you need to play the game with the swords, the axes, and I think there's maces on here somewhere. No, nope, just swords and axes. And the important part, the figures. We're going to go ahead and slice this open real quick, slice them all open. We're going to open them all. guys out. Go over the detail on the figures real quick for you. We have uh, this guy with spear. Spear's a little bit bent, but that's okay. It's to be expected with resin. That's an easy fix. You can do that with uh, hot water or I think you might even be able to just bend this piece. That's not so bad. Kind of looks natural that way anyway. Uh, a little bit of flashing there to take off. His lizard like head. You can see his teeth. He's growling. And a hand. Next guy. I'm going to guess this is the leader type or superhero warrior type dude because he looks pretty bad. Again, the, the models are going to go together very easy. That's just going to slide in there like that. The guy's got two weapons. He's nice. Heck, I could even use him for beast making. He would double. Be a great D and D character figure too. Yeah, face mm -hmm. brown at you. Next guy's a little bit bigger. Kind of a house. He's got a little bit more pieces, but again, the pieces go together easy. That arm clearly goes there. That fist clearly goes on that, that side. And look at that ugly face. Gosh, this dude's ugly. This must be the shaman. It just looks like, you know, something you would think from a... I don't know. It reminds me of some old cartoon I watched as a kid. I can't remember. Maybe it was Smurfs. That must be the shaman. Now, uh, in a previous videos, I said you could get these at TMP. Uh, I meant the miniature market. Well, maybe this is the shaman because he's got a staff. Look at that staff. That's a nice staff. 
Look at those feathers. You can really see the detail on the feathers. Nice grooves and lines. So, there you have it. The Orlock Nation starter box for Alchemy. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask them in the posts here. Uh, we'll answer anything that we can to the best of our knowledge. We're going to have demos of the game up shortly, hopefully. Hopefully next week. Uh, if you uh, wish to check out how Studio 38 is continuing the line, you can go to Studio 38's website and view their images. Uh, hopefully we'll have a gallery up shortly for that also. Matt Lemke with Through Gamer Goggles, gamer-goggles.com, and another box break. Thank you. Thank you.